Have you ever felt that implementing CRM into an organisation should be easier than it seems to be? Hello, I'm Jill Walker and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the keystone of CRM success. A keystone, otherwise known as the capstone or lockstone, is the stone at the apex of a bridge or an archway. A bridge like this is completely self-supporting. It has no metal, no concrete. All it has is carefully shaped stones and an appropriately shaped keystone right at the apex. I believe that the keystone to CRM success is education. And in this short video, I will show you the three sorts of education that form part of any successful CRM project. A frightening proportion of CRM projects are deemed to have failed. And when we look into the reasons for this, the biggest reason of them all is a failure in user adoption, i.e. the users can't, won't, don't believe they should use the solution that has been provided. There are three sorts of training that will form a part of any successful CRM project. The first of these is end user training and end user training is where we show the users how they will be supported in their role, what they need to do to perform the tasks that are their role. End user training will always be based on your system with your processes and your data. The second type of training is stakeholder training. And this is where we support the stakeholders so that they understand the technology and can make the right decisions, whether those are decisions about in scope, out of scope, processes, data, integrations, and means that nobody is asked to make decisions that are beyond their level of understanding. The third type of training that will be part of a successful CRM project is technical training, where we train the technical people so they can make maximum use of whichever technology you have selected. Sometimes when I introduce the idea of technical training, people say that shouldn't be our responsibility. The partner should have done that, or the user should do that for themselves. After all, they've come to us with certifications. While all of that may well be true, what happens when it is not true? Think of the consequences and the benefits of technical training become very obvious very quickly. On the slide now, you will see a number of things which may occur when one or more of those types of training is absent or has been done ineffectively. In a few moments, I will untangle all of that for you. When we have inadequate user training, we fail to meet user requirements and that leads to a failure in user adoption. When we have inadequate stakeholder training, we get unsatisfactory stakeholder involvement. That leads to a poor CRM strategy and a failure to meet management's needs, leading to a breakdown in management's trust of the solution that often leads to a poor example set by management and again we have a failure in user adoption. Technical training perhaps surprisingly has got a number of possible outcomes. The most obvious one is that inadequate technical training leads to a poor implementation. That in turn leads to buggy software, which of course will fail to meet users' needs and a failure in user adoption. Another way that inadequate technical training can play out is insufficient or ineffective testing of the solution. Again, that will lead to buggy software, failure to meet users' needs, and a failure in user adoption. I'm going to end this short video with a picture 
of one of my favourite places, the Pont du Gard in France. This is a fantastic example of Roman archways, one on top of the other, and was critical for the Romans' colonisation of this part of the world. As we can see, the keystones in this bridge are bearing an awful lot of weight. The keystone makes each of these arches self-supporting and the keystone of CRM success training will allow your project also to stand alone and go forward bearing weight. I'm Jill Walker and if you would like some more information any one of these URLs will give you more information about me, your CRM success catalyst and my company, Opsys.